We begin this lunchtime at the nation's top office. President Park Geun-hye once again stressed the importance of the economy and national security at this week's cabinet meeting. She also touched upon her recent state visit to Iran and North Korea's Workers' Party Congress, which ended last night. For more, we turn to our presidential office correspondent Song ji sun who is on the line for us. So ji sun we hear the president is set to meet with the leaders of the country's three major political parties this week. That's right, Mark. President Park has invited four leaders and chief policymakers of the three main parties to Cheongwadae for a meeting on Friday afternoon. She is following up on a pledge she made at a meeting with chief news editors last month to enhance communication with lawmakers. It is the first time they'll meet since the ruling Senate Party lost its parliamentary majority in the general election last month. The last time she invited floor leaders to the top, top office was over six months ago. During the meeting, President Buck will likely call for the lawmakers' support in passing bills key to her policy initiatives and to join efforts to improve people's livelihoods while discussing other current issues. President Buck also made note of North Korea's claim to be a nuclear state, as announced by its leader Kim Jong-un during the ruling Workers' Party Congress, in which the young leader was named the party chairman. The president characterized the regime's actions as a sign that they're unwilling to improve inter-Korean relations and said South Korea must unite to counter such threats to its national security. President Buck also stressed the need to foster future growth engines during this time of slow growth and called on her cabinet members to relax regulations as much as possible on emerging growth items like drones to help the country compete in the global market. Back to you.